The president of Ohio State University back in the hot seat for a controversial joke he made about priests at Notre Dame. A lot of Catholics not finding it funny, and this is not the first time he's come under fire. ABC's Lindsay Davis has a story. Gordon Gee is the powerful president of the country's third largest university, Ohio State. But this morning, he's apologizing to several other top schools after disparaging comments he made were caught on tape. The fathers are holy on Sunday and they're holy hell on the rest of the week. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, you just can't you just can't trust those damn Catholics on a, on a on a Thursday or Friday. This audio recording obtained by the Associated Press captures comments Guy made in December at a meeting of the school's athletics council, reportedly discussing why Notre Dame, a Catholic school, was never invited to join Ohio State in the Big Ten athletic conference. Among his other comments, Guy takes a shot at the University of Louisville, suggesting that school isn't equal to Ohio State academically. Their number one criteria is to make certain that we have uh, institutions of like-minded like academic integrity. So you won't see us adding Louisville. On Thursday, Ohio State called the comments offensive and not presidential in nature and said Guy would be subject to a remediation plan. Meantime, Guy has issued his own apology, calling his comments a poor attempt at humor and entirely inappropriate. Notre Dame called the remarks most regrettable, but released a statement saying President Guy has contacted Father Jenkins, Notre Dame's president, to offer an apology that he has accepted. And this morning, while some Catholics are calling for Guy's resignation, Bill Donahue, president of the Catholic League, is calling for a bit more forgiveness. If we can't distinguish between somebody who made an off-color remark in jest and somebody who maliciously and repeatedly tries to stick it to Catholics, then we're the ones who've got the problem. Over the years, Guy has apologized for several comments he's made, including last year when he compared a lack of coordination at the school to the Polish army, something one Polish-American group called slanderous display of bigotry and ignorance. Despite calls for his termination for the latest remarks, no word from the college that would suggest Guy's job is now in jeopardy.